Hello, good morning and welcome to New Forest Morse. It's Tuesday morning. Uh, well, Jazz joined me this morning. We had a lovely day yesterday. It was Jazz's birthday. So we uh, normally video on a, on a Monday, but we had the afternoon off together and we had a lovely time, didn't we, Jazz? Mm -hmm. So uh, today we've got some really lots of things going on. So we're going to cover uh, three new locks and we're going to do another six pairings today. So we're going to do that first. Um, but first of all, We've also got the opportunity to do some ultrasounding. So I've put the ultrasounder on charge. We're going to go through and check all of our large girls. Everything in green, Jared, is going to be ultrasounded, mm -hmm. as you can see here. So the reason why we want to know the follicle size is so that we can make sure that the girls are up to size before we start plugging in the boys. So we've got that to do. We're also going to be starting a new project, which is a dear to our hearts, um, is the Ultramel clowns is what we're going to be shooting for in the next few years ahead so we're buying in a new animal which will be here mid October and uh, we'll tell you all about that but uh, we'll be bringing in a ultra mar uh, uh, part, uh, uh, clown that is 100% het for ultra mile. so it's the ultra mile clown project which is going to be coming at New Forest Morphs um, and I think we'll start with the locks we first judge we just show them some of the locks some of them are still locked from last night so this one is the Super Enchi Pastel Leopard Lesser Double Het DG Clowns. So it's an action packed Hercules is now locked with Isa. I don't know if you can see the lock there, Jared. But um, that's his third lock in the last couple of weeks, which is really good. Hercules has been our stuff boy that we've been trying to breed last year and he wouldn't go, would he, Jared? Mm -hmm. But everything we're putting him to is he's locking, so I think he's now got the hang of it, he's mature. So that's a really exciting project that we're looking forward to. And then we've also put Bowser to your girl Calypso. Now they've had one lock. The last lock was back in August and she was at about 8mm follicle size. They haven't locked yet, but we'll, they've only been together for one day. Let's just have a look and see how they're doing. So we'll leave them in for another day and see if we can get another lock there. And then we've also got some other ones that have locked. Pringle, which is our FNF line of calico. Uh, we've put Apollo, who's a pastel uh, orange dream banana. So we're looking to produce some pastel orange dream banana calicos. And there's a lock for you there. See that, Jared? Mm -hmm. And then if I show you the beautiful calico girl, you can see how beautiful she is. F and F line. So looking forward to seeing this project. We did try it a couple of years ago and unfortunately it didn't go for us, so hopefully this year it will. And we're also going to produce some more uh, ultra mail, not ultra mail, um, G stripes. Here we've got toast locking to uh, your Beautiful boy, we've got Giovanni, who's a super pastel banana G-stripe. So we're looking to produce some guaranteed pastel banana cinnamons, because we think they're beautiful, and they'll be 100% het for G-stripe, which will then further the G-stripe project, getting some nice codons into there. And um, was there any other locks, Joe? Is, is that all of them? Mm -hmm. So we've got another six pairings to do. So. The Bongo Girl, which is this one down here, NASA. She's ready for another lock. And we're gonna put um, Ezekiel, our clown boy, to her. So let's do that, Jack. So we're gonna choose 66% head for clown. So what we'll do is we'll just put those two together. And then see if we get a lock out of those two. And then the next one we're going to do is Bruce, which is our albino 100% het pied boy. And we're going to put him to Mo, which is Jared's first ever baby. Up there is Jared. And she just shed out. So I think we should probably take out her hide. Um, see if we can get her hide out. There we come. She looks pretty big, Jared. So hopefully she's going to lock with these, this boy here. So she's shut out, shut out today. Hello, buddy. 
<laughs> you don't like it? He likes to come out with exploration. Uh, come on, buddy. You gonna get it? There we go. Put those two together. And just stick that up there. And then the next pairing we've got is uh, Nova to Celeste. Now Nova is our Mojave Ultramel boy. He's a proven breeder. And we're gonna put him to Celeste. So Celeste is our Phantom Pastel Yellow Belly. So we wanna get Yellow Belly and Pastel into that Ultramel project with Mojave. So we'll put these two together. And the Phantom Mojave's a perfect picture. Yeah. So we'll see how those two work out together. But it'd be good to get the Yellow Belly and the Pastel into the Ultramel side. And then the last two lots, we've got Wizzy, which is a Yellow Belly Pied Boy to Phoebe. So we're going to try and prove out Phoebe. She is a Fire, 50% hep hide. So we'd like to prove her out if we can. And we'll just put him in. He's just shut out, so hopefully he'll do the business. And prove her out. And that will get Yellow Belly into the project as well. So if we get Yellow Belly and Russo and prove out the pides, we're going to be getting some nice looking Russo pides that are going to have Yellow Belly in and hopefully she'll prove out. She's 50%. And then the last project we've got here is an exciting one. Over here we've got Bubbles. Now she, oh, we haven't cleaned her out. I think we're gonna to have to give her a quick clean. I'll pull her out before we pair them. So let me just, maybe you can video her while I just give her a quick clean. So she's got a bit of dirt on her nose. She's she? got a bit of dirt, but she's got a parallax. But she's an Enchi lesser clown. And what we can do is we can wear her up while you're doing that clown. You can wear her up and see how she's doing. I'll give her a quick clean before we put those together. Hopefully she's a good size. You must be getting close to 1900 grams. Mm -hmm. 1860. 1860. And then if you want to also video the boy Jared, I'll give us a quick clean. So we're going to change the name of Bella to Bello. He's a boy. Yeah. He's a lovely boy, though, isn't he? And then if you explain what we're trying to do with that project, Jack. Yeah, so this is going to be going towards our highway clown project. So this boy here is a pastel leopard orange dream yellow belly 100% head clown. Um, we're going to be sticking him to the Enchi lesser clown. So the main goal there is to get the yellow belly into the clown, but also with other recessives as well. So then when, when we put Skip to her, to the babies, we'll have a gravel clown, a pastel gravel clown, going to hopefully a yellow belly clown with loads of codoms in it, um, and produce some crazy looking pastel highway clowns with four or five other codoms in. That's our goal. And I think if we get a yellow belly clown, Jared, and it's a girl, mm -hmm. we can grow that up and then we can plug in your gravel. Skip. Clown. And your new gravel clown boy, plug that into a yellow belly clown girl, then yeah. we're gonna get guaranteed highway True. clowns, aren't we? So the idea is trying to produce more females for the new boys to go into. And this is the boy here, killer lesser gravel clown. We've also got this guy here as well, Finn, that we think is a gravel clown as well. So one of those two boys would do the job. Down. And 
bit of, I like to put just a little bit of water before they breed to add to the humidity. But she's definitely um, got good size, and hasn't she got good size, Jared? Yeah. And she's about four years old now, so she should be good to go. Just do that, and just settle her down a bit. Settle down, darling. There we go. And now we can introduce the new boy in. So half of them will be clowns and half of them will be pet for clown. But I think because he's carrying such powerful genes here, and this is his first ever opportunity to lock, I think it will be beautiful to get the leopard in there as well. And let's see whether he'll do the business. So. Here we go, and then we convert the green tags to yellow tags with a pairing. We'll put that in. And I think that concludes the six additional pairs that we're going to do today. And now I think we can start to do some ultrasounding. And I think what we'll do, Jared, is we'll probably come back and do the ultrasounding and do another separate video for that. But I hope everyone's having a great season. As I say, we've got the Ultra Clown project coming soon, and we'll keep you up to date with that. But um, I think that's all from here at New Forest Mall, so thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.